welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया वी हैव बीन स्टडिंग द तत्पुरुष समास फॉर सम टाइम नाउ तत्पुरुष समास इज the biggest basket of the examples there are many sutras also in the grammar of panini as compared to other samasas prescribing the tatpurusha samasa there are several subtypes of the tatpurusha samasa as well as stated in the grammar of panini the tatpurusha samasa can be shown together with its features in the form of an equation in this particular manner so you have x and y as the two individual independent and separate entities in the form of words and also in the form of meanings and also the accent and also they are interrelated because they are interrelated the speaker intends to bring them together merge them in one another integrate them and generate an output in the form of xy and that is one unit that is generated in this one unit now there is one meaning there is one word and therefore there is one pair of brackets and of course there is one accent as far as the meaning is concerned there is the meaning of y which assumes the headship it becomes the head of the unit also the word form xy gets related to other words through y that is its head so x plus y is xy and y is the head seems to be the equation that captures the features of the tatpurusha compound in a nutshell of course this is a by default position and there are exceptions to this particular general rule now we are studying the vibhakti tatpurusha samasa so far we have studied dvitiya vibhakti tatpurusha which was stated by the bunch of sutras starting with dvitiya shrita tita patita gatatya stap prapta pannaihi then we studied the tritiya tatpurusha samasa also stated by the sutras starting with tritiya tat kratarthena guna vachanena then we studied the chaturthi tatpurusha samasa which was stated by only one sutra chaturthi tadarthartha balihita sukha rakshitaihi then we studied the panchami tatpurusha samasa which was stated by a few sutras beginning with panchami bhayena and now following the sequence given in the ashtadhyayi we shall be studying the saptami vibhakti tatpurusha samasa which is from 2140 up to 2148 after panchami actually there is the place of shashti but shashti is not stated here and directly saptami is stated first and shashti comes quite a, quite later in the second pada of the 
second adhyaya 2 to 8 as we shall study later on. So the first sutra in the Saptami Samasa is Saptami Shaundaihi. Before going into the details of this sutra, it is noteworthy that after Panchami, Panini directly goes to Saptami and not refers to Shashti. One of the reasons is that these Vibhaktis, Tritiya, Tritiya, Chaturthi, Panchami and Saptami, they denote Karaka relations. Shashti Vibhakti as a rule does not per se generically denote Karaka relations. Shashti Vibhakti denotes Sambandha in general. Shashti Vibhakti can also denote Karaka relations but in a very limited environment that of the Krit suffix. And there are sutras which deal with this aspect which we shall study when we study the Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa. On this background, let us concentrate on Saptami Tatpurusha Samasa and the first sutra, Saptami Shaundaihi. This is 2140. There are two words in the sutra, Saptami and Shaundaihi. The word Saptami occurs in the Prathama Vibhakti, therefore Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam applies and assigns the term Upasarjana to the word ending in Saptami and then Upasarjanam Purvam applies and ensures the Purva Nipata of the word ending in Saptami. Thus, the word ending in Saptami occupies the initial position of the compound. The word Shaunda is stated here in the Trutiya Vibhakti. Shaunda means intoxicated. The plural indicates a group of words. Words continued are Sup and Sahasupa and also Samartha Padavidhihi, which is very basic foundational underlying principle. So, the overall structure of the compound is of this kind, where there is a Pratipadika followed by Saptami Vibhakti as part of the Purvapada, followed by another Pratipadika that is part of the set Shound etc. followed by Su. And then as an output we get the Pratipadika of the Purvapada and Shounda etc. as the Uttara Pada. Let us see the example. So the meaning is intoxicated in dice. Akshesu Shaundaha. This is the Laukika Vigraha. And now the Alaukika Vigraha is Aksha plus Su. Mind you, this is the Saptami Bahuvachana suffix Sup. And Shaunda plus Su. This Su is the Prathama Ekavachana. Now this becomes a Samasa. And therefore it becomes a Pratipadika. And then both the Su's, they are now part of the Pratipadika and so they get deleted by the Sutra Supodhatup Pratipadika Yoho. And so we have Aksha plus zero plus Shaunda plus zero. And then we join both these words together. There is no further operation that is stated as far as these two Padas are concerned as part of the compound. And so we get the form Aksha Shaunda as the finally derived compound output. This compound output means the same thing as the input in the form of Akshesu Shaundaha. The group of words that begin with Shaunda also include the word Dhurta. There are some more words, but there is one, one word Dhurta which we shall take as an example. So crafty in dice, that is the meaning. And Akshesu Dhurtaha, this is the Laukika Vigraha Vakya. Once again, the Alaukika Vigraha is Aksha plus Su plus Dhurta plus Su. And so this is a Pratipadika and therefore the Su's which are part of the Pratipadika get deleted because of Supodhatup Pratipadika Yoho and we get the finally derived output in the form of Aksha 
धूर्त लेट अस मूव अहेड एंड स्टडी द नेक्स्ट सूत्र सिद्ध शुष्क पक्व बंधैश्च सिद्ध शुष्क पक्व बंधैश्च दिस इज टू वन फोर्टी वन देर आर टू वर्ड्स इन द सूत्र सिद्ध शुष्क पक्व बंधै दिस इज थ्री थ्री विथ सिद्ध एट्सेट्रा एंड द सेकेंड वर्ड इज च विच मीन्स एंड एंड दिस इज एन इनडिक्लाइनेबल द वर्ड्स कंटिन्यूड आर सुप सह सुपा समर्थ पद विधि ऑफ कोर्स इज तैयार एज अ प्रिंसिपल सप्तमी विच इज वन वन ऑफ सप्तमी एंड देर फॉर इट बिकम्स उपसर्जन बाय द सूत्र प्रथमा निर्दिष्ट सामस उपसर्जनम एंड देन उपसर्जनम पूर्व एंश्योर्स दैट दिस वर्ड एंडिंग इन द सप्तमी हैज अ पूर्व निपात दैट मीन्स इट बिकम्स द इनिशियल मेम्बर ऑफ द कंपाउंड So this is an example. The meaning to be conveyed is repaired in Kampilya. Kampilya is the name of a location, a city, perhaps. So Kampilya is the something that is prepared in Kampilya. So we have the Alauki Kavigraha Kampilya plus Ni plus Siddha plus Su. Then this becomes a Samasa, and then it becomes Pratipadika. so now ngi and su are part of the pratipadika so supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and deletes both the sus sups and so we have kampilya plus 0 plus siddha plus 0 and then we join the words together and we get the compound kampilya siddha which denotes the same meaning as kampilya siddha now we have another example which means dried in the heat so we have the laukika vigraha atape shushkaha the alaukika vigraha is atap plus ni plus shushka plus su then the term samasa applies and then the pratipadika term is available and now we have ni and su as part of the pratipadikas and so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and now we have atap plus 0 and plus shushka plus 0 we join the words together and we get the form atap shushka as the finally derived output form of the compound similarly we have the meaning cooked in a vessel stalyam pakvaha so we have thali plus ni plus pakva plus su as the alaukika vigraha then this becomes a samasa therefore therefore it becomes a pratipadika by definition and then su and ni become part of the pratipadika so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and we have stali plus 0 plus pakva plus 0 as the output and then the final derived output is stali pakva this means the same as stalyam pakva and the last example is chakre bandha tying to the wheel chakre bandha again we have chakra plus ni plus bandha plus su as the alaukika vigraha and then this becomes a samasa then this becomes a pratipadika and then supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and deletes ni and su and so we have chakra plus 0 plus bandha plus 0 we join the words together and we get the form chakrabandha as the finally derived compound output this denotes the same meaning as chakrabandha the sentence the next sutra is dhvangshena kshepe 2142 this sutra has got two words dhvangshena and kshepe dhvangshena is 3/1 which means with the word dhvangsha dhvangsha means a crow kshepe is 7/1 of kshepa which means in the sense of censure words continued are sup 
and Sahasupa. Samartha Padavidhi is obviously present. Now the word Saptami also continues and Saptami is in one slash one thereby it gets the term Upasarjana attached to it by Prathama Nirdishtam Samasa Upasarjanam and then Upasarjanam Purvam applies and states that an Upasarjana Saudhneka Shabda should be placed in the initial position of the compound. So there is Purva Nipata of the Upasarjana Saudhnya. Now this Samasa is a Nitya Samasa of a Vigraha type because only to denote the sensual the compound is made and this sensual is not part of the meaning of any of the constituents. This is an over and above additional meaning that comes in the compound. So now we have the meaning a crow in the holy land, one which means that one who is opportunistic in gaining material gains in the holy spiritual land. In the holy spiritual land, you are supposed to become spiritual. You are not supposed to keep on gaining material gains. You are not supposed to engage your mind in the material gains. But this is a person who is opportunistic, so opportunistic that he keeps gaining material gains also or keeps his eye on the material gains in the holy spiritual land. So we have Tirthe Dvangshaha as the Laukika Vigraha and so Alaukika Vigraha is Tirtha plus Ni plus Dvangsha plus Su and so this becomes a Samasa then this becomes a Pratipadika and after it becomes a Pratipadika Ni and Su which are now part of the Pratipadika they get deleted so we have Tirtha plus Zero plus Dvangsha plus Zero and then we combine them together and we get the form Tirthadvangsha. Tirthadvangsha. This is same as Tirthadvangsha as far as the meaning communication is concerned. Tirthadvangsha. Then we have the Sutra Kritiyair Rane. 2, 1 and 43. This sutra has got two words, Kritiyair and Rane. Kritiyair is 3 slash 3 of Kritya. Kritya means a Kritya suffix. So Kritiyair means with the words having Kritya suffix at the end. Rune is 7 slash 1, that is mean that it, is, it means in the sense of a debt. Words continued are sup and sahasupa. Samarthapadavidhi is obviously there. Saptami is continued. Saptami is one slash one and therefore because of prathama nirdishtam samasopasarjanam the words in the saptami vibhakti is termed as upasarjana and then Upasarjanam Purvam applies and ensures that the word ending in the Saptami Vibhakti occupies the initial position of the compound, also known as the Purva Nipata. Now here we have the Pratipadika in the first Pada with the Saptami Vibhakti and then the second Pada also has the Prathama Vibhakti in the form of Su which is preceded by a Pratipadika which is ending in the Kritya Pratyaya. And as an output then we have the Pratipadika followed by the Pratipadika ending in the Kritya suffix. The additional meaning is Rana that is communicated only by the compound. So the meaning communicated here is debt that should be returned in a month. So somebody has taken debt and now that is to be returned within a month. So how do we refer to that debt? We say that Mase Deyam Ranam. So Mase Deyam is the Laukika Vigraha. 
एंड नाउ वी हैव द अलौकिक विग्रह इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मास प्लस नी प्लस देय प्लस सु एंड वी लुक एट देय एंड इट्स डेरिवेशनल हिस्ट्री एंड वी फाइंड आउट दैट देय इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द वर्बल रूट द विद द एडिशन ऑफ द सफिक्स य and this year is a kritya suffix followed by su so we have masa plus ni plus da plus ye plus su now this is an alaukika vigraha where all the conditions are met and so this is declared as samasa and so this will be declared as pratipadika by definition and after that ni and su become part of the pratipadikas and so suppose that the pratipadika yoga will apply and delete both ni and ye and we'll get masa plus 0 plus deya plus 0 and when we remove the zero and other elements we'll get the form masa deya and this compound output generated over here will be the same as the sentence masa deyam ranam similarly one can also denote the forms like sambatsar deyam sambatsar deyam ranam now it is noteworthy that the tradition has also added a cultural angle to the concept of rana which is a debt the tradition says rana grahanam niyogopalakshanartham the word rana here stands also for cultural debts according to indian tradition or injunctions of daily study or recitation where rishi runa and devaruna and pitru runa are considered to be the great debts that any individual inherits from the predecessors so there are examples urvanhe geyam sama and here we have purvanha geya which is the derived output so one has to recite the sama only right at the beginning of the day and to do so is in a way repaying the rishi iruna similarly prataradhyaya anuvaka there is some portion of the veda which is to be recited only in the morning so one recites this portion in the morning and that's how one repays the loan that this fellow has on the great sages so rishi runa is repaid in this particular fashion this is extremely important as far as the concept of runa is concerned as stated in the commentary on 2143 krityair rane so runa is the additional meaning involved over here which is not a meaning of any of the constituents and that is by which cannot be ascribed to any of the constituents and that is why it has to be accepted as the meaning of the entire compound output to summarize saptami vibhakti tatpurusha is also stated by a very limited number of sutras the process of compounding is resorted to by the speakers sometimes to convey an additional meaning like censure which is not the meaning of any particular constituent such a meaning is not denoted by separate constituents and there are cultural extensions of terms in accordance with the traditional interpretations that are a highlight of this entire process we keep on studying the saptami tatpurusha with the study of some more sutras in the coming lectures these are the texts that are referred to by us and thank you for your patience 